a lot of friends and families. So it's kind of funny that Asus sent over this thing again because me and you last time we did a basic review for it. So we just quickly go over it. So uh, this is the ROG Azov gaming keyboard. So this is basically ROG they are saying they are going to go into the custom mechanical keyboard scene but they still want to maintain you know like the gamery keyboard stuff like you know like high responsive rate so that you don't lack in your games and you got like nice keycaps that the legend doesn't uh, fade as fast especially as the WASD yeah, yeah the WASD thing <laughs> and they also adopted this 75% layout which is pretty okay for most game I would say that you can play mobiles you can play FPS pretty much mm -hmm. every thing in the popular market right yeah. now so for today since we already did a basic review so let's talk about some other things mm. um, uh, for example the switches because this new, new unit they sent over is actually in the white color and this white color is like technically new but they come with this new ROG NX snow switches so this ROG NX snow switches it actuates at 45 grand and bottoms out at 53 so it is more like I think more or less compared to the um, Cherry MX Reds, I guess. Mm -hmm. But since they are manufactured in the modern standard way, so they are less scratchiness, they are far smoother, and they come with factory lube, so you can just use it straight out of the box. And for all the uh, ROG and X switches, there's five variants, but only this and X No comes with transparent PC top and, and semi opaque milky bottom. Everything else is full transparent. I guess you can call it like full PC la. So I guess this can lean to a more talky sound because this is what they are marketing this as. So yeah, and you also got that uh, included DIY lube kit. If you want to touch it up a bit, learn how to do hand lubing or you know how to do it, you want the hand lube, everything else, yeah, be my guess. They yeah, give you the choice before. to do that. Yeah. So unboxing is is I presume gonna be same as yeah, the, the same. one before, so we're gonna yeah. skip this. So, so inside same. you got a keyboard, then after this you got the lubing kit. Yeah, the lubing kit. You can also find your wires, your manuals inside it. Where? Inside this box. This box. Oh, I don't. I don't quite remember the unboxing, but I know it, the lubing kit is inside. Yep. So wires, documentation, Capital. lubing kit, extra switches. Key switch opener uh still the same as ever, so you can open yeah, the traditional. It's just like everything in your white grayish color <laughs> for this yes, colorway. Yeah. Actually, they do a really good job in making everything look the same color. So yeah, this is the keyboard right here. It comes with this like white grayish colorway, mm, and, and then got metallic case. I it is actually metallic top side only, while the bottom is plastic. Yeah, so still the same as before. Yeah. And it makes sense because it's still called the Azov. Weight is about one point something kg. Mm, about the same. Exactly. Yeah, actually very nice weight. And then you still have these kind of keycaps as well. It's PBT texture. So it's quite rough. Mm. I like this. And then they have uh, sub printing for Mac keys as well. So good. All inclusive, even though you don't really game on Macs, but okay. Yeah, <laughs> I guess they also support that. Yeah. Yeah. So I guess we just like go with a simple sound test first, shall we? Hmm, you do. Mm. Overall, sounds same as before. A little bit different, but overall still very similar. Yeah. Because I presume inside all the foam and whatnot is still the same. Yeah, it's also. still the same. So, the sound, I think like you can... I can feel significantly different because this is using the NX Snow ah. switches. Lah. And the overall swift smoothness is pretty good. You can just press... One press thing it. for sure, it's a lot more tighter sound. It's not yeah. loose like slapping sound <laughs> yeah so the overall like especially the alphas pretty good smooth the modifiers also cool except the spacebar 
it's sticking. I'm not sure this is like due to the loop problem or anything, but I assume because like even before Azov has like loop stabilizers, so I guess this one is just like not that well applied, or maybe there's a bit of balancing issue, but we'll look into that a little bit later. So yeah. But do you feel like I think you can also feel like especially like the UIOP here? So I guess like the factory loop, even though it's okay, but they are still a little bit inconsistent, just a little bit. Mm. So Maybe certain keys, yes, yeah, sticky. sticky or you can feel a bit of scratchiness. So yeah, if you don't mind about that, you can just use it as it is. But if you're OCD, just go hand lip them one by one and you'll definitely find the fun about it. <laughs> Lubing is not fun, that's why I get you to do it. So, but also they give you the lubing kit so you can do it yourself. This is for the stock performance, so we'll just open up and just double confirm if everything else is the same under the hood. Oh yeah, also even though they are like they wanna do customs, but they don't give you like the screwdriver, so I guess they don't encourage you to open it up and do something. Because I think, I think because of the OLED screen there, the ribbon cable, if you rip it off, you tear it out. Bye. Painful, sir. But why is the screw not coming up? Release the latch. Oh. This oh, is lit yeah, this is literally the same, which I don't really feel like there's a point of using gasket mount in this. So that's why we are going to mod it in just a little bit. And for the task right, we are going to take it on two different sides. Koki he likes his like full silent view. So he just want to cover up every single thing. Meanwhile, me, I want to have the maximum gasket performance, so I'll try as much as I can to use not to don't to not use any of these foams, so I can get all the flex and bounces. But I still can adjust to the sound profile, maybe add a little bit of case foam or anything. So yeah, we'll see what we can do from that onwards. So we'll just skip to that. Yes, but why is this so sticky? Control Fn out. This boy changed to MX Black, which is this one. Yeah. Uh, you self loop. Do you film it? Yep. You film it. Yep. Spring swath, all the good stuff. So technically, the full suite of mods. Yes. And then he also removed the mid play foam. Yeah. E actually, everything is removed except the very bottom layer. That one is like the quintessential. Yeah, Tempener. that one you cannot remove because yes. the, the mode also holds the PCB and whatnot. Yeah, then, uh, too bad. Oh, oh, I forgot this thing is sticky. So this is, uh, as you can see from the marks, it's compressed down by quite a lot. And then he also changed the keycap to this, I don't know what this weeable keycap is called. GMK owner. Okay, do your typing test. I'm okay. see here. The gasket performance definitely improved so much. It's actually very soft and comfortable to type on. Despite it being a the plate, I think I think if I'm not wrong, this is stainless steel or at least aluminum plate. So as long as the um, entire I guess like assembly it can like at least move up and down a bit, then you can type it actually fairly comfortable. So for my taste, actually, I don't mind the sound profile even though it's not like extremely clacky and super clean because you know like, this is a like half plastic, half metal case and there's a piece of foam in there. So yeah, I guess like that piece of foam actually like rounded up everything like in a very moderate but decent way. So I can still hear the scratch, the sound profile is still like kind of fluffy and thin. Yeah, but that's just how Cherry switches sounds and most of the time people they want to play MX Blacks is their they want to have a good space bar sound and too bad because as you can see there's this like very sticky foam there I prefer to not use it but since this is a review unit I don't want to like 
get too funky with it. So yeah, I just leave it in this. But yeah, overall the sound is still quite acceptable to me. I think it sounds very poppy. It's poppy, but I think like it's quite a bit dead in terms of volume and like the amplitude. Everything should sound a little bit louder, supposedly. But this is what it is. Mm -hmm. mm. For me, I like my switches to be dead silent, my keyboard to be dead silent. Yeah, he just wants to listen to all his big jazz music. Yes, but also the keyboard, silent keyboards are more complicated, I would say. Because for me, even though a lot of people think silent keyboard means it doesn't make any sound, it actually still does. But in terms of thumping and also more towards feeling instead of sound. Yes, the feedback definitely has to be more yeah, the, than the sound. The, the tactile feedback is very important yeah, yeah, when yeah. you thump on it sense the vibration that's the best feeling not the sound yeah so why not we just go to his preferred build and see what can we end up with yes so for me i'm gonna use the uh kill deep sea switch, switch yeah, which is not the silence. most silent it's actually a bit clacky but uh that's the only spare silent switch that yeah, i have. have but definitely way better than cherry silence because there's no scratchiness in there at the very least. I like the... Yeah. Yeah, I like the... The what ah? Uh, uh, Ipo Maker Seesaw. <laughs> Ipo Maker Seesaw is currently the best that I've used. But the Cherry MX Silent Rate is also fantastic. So, uh, anyway... But what? He, I don't know why, but he can deal with the scratchiness. But I guess he used Broken In One since he used like four, four to five years already. My Leopold? Yeah. My FC750 PD, RPD. Yes, I've been using that for like... Four years. Yeah, so definitely broken in. The scratchiness is gone. That's why he loves them. That's my best keyboard anyway. Uh, <laughs> yeah, for this mod, mm. what I'm going to do is to stuff in one layer of neoprene. Mm -hmm. uh, one reason why I don't want to stack neoprene for this keyboard is because if I don't match the height, then you, you can see the, the stock foam is very thick. But if I want to stack the neoprene, I cannot match the thickness. Yeah, and yeah. even if I did match, I don't have enough clearance or the, the sponginess for yeah. this to step inside. So what I'm going to do is to add one piece of neoprene underneath so it provides a bit of hardness. And then at the top here, still use back their foam. And then use back the mid plate foam. Yeah, mid. But I would suggest because you like literally add another piece of foam, the entire like structure will be very very rigid and i don't think that's going to make the best use of the gasket mount so as you can see i don't know if we got like footage for you there's actually like five five screw to secure the plate and the pcb there is kind of like a standoff so we don't use that set off and instead we just stack everything together and clip it it's just some sort of like the mode designs stack mount mm. mechanism okay. you just like put everything together and you just get everything okay in. we shall yeah. try that so no standoff everything is floating on gasket yes okay do let's go Actually good, very moldable. So yeah, I think the correct call was to smack that middle. The the where was the foam called PCB foam? Uh huh. Yeah, squeeze it as tight as possible, and then to not have any standoff. Yeah, not using any standoff because the plate is already sti stiff enough. You add another layer yeah. of foam. I think like it's already like very hard to close the case already. So if you add the stand off, I don't think it will make it. I don't think it will. Yeah. So uh, one problem with silent keyboards is that you have to 
make the PCB part as stiff as possible. Yeah. But also enough dampener. Mm. Then you have to stable the entire thing with gasket. Yeah. So standoff should not be used, and that's why we get this result. Actually, very good. Yeah, but the space bar, I think, like there's still a little bit of like, I think, like loudness to it because of the plate. So I guess if you guys, Asus, you want to support this long term, or maybe you want to come out with Exhaust 2 or whatever, maybe you can consider like do it like the GMMK Pro. They release like extra plates, you know, FR4 PC plates or whatever. If you want to go like very soft and maybe like perhaps you give more gasket performance, you can just like, yeah. Mm. Produce those extras and let people to choose to even like mod is it even down further as you yes, feel. Yes, in a way, uh, silent keyboards. If you use the what uh, leaf cut plate, you mean with flex cut? Flex cut is it flex cut or leaf cut? I don't know the flex the, cut. You mean like with those like lines yeah, and yeah, holes? The lines. Flex cut, flex, flex cut. cut. That flex cut is acting like a dampener also. So for silent keyboards, you should opt in for that. Uh, PC plate is actually better yeah but uh but you know like pc plate if you go for flex cuts it's going to be like super like hollow and way too flexible so i guess like you don't go for flex sandwich more stuff in between but i think like most people would prefer non-flex cut pc plate but for metallic plates they go for flex cut yeah but there's be my guess of Mm. a lot of different variations so for our particular build here this is what it sounds like. Mm. There's uh, real good actually. It sounds better than my like Keychron Q3 when it was using this switch. Mm. So yes, feels very good. Highly moddable keyboard. I think the price of this keyboard right now is the same as before. Yes, completely the same. 1,070 70. or something like that. Yeah, 1,000 something. Yeah, Yeah, 1,000 something Ringgit Malaysia. I'll leave you all of the links down below. Uh, again, if you want to mod this, they have the Lumen kit for you, hot swap yeah. switches, so you can explore however you want. Yeah, so if you don't like money, it's not an issue for you, and you always use gaming keyboards for your entire life, and you want to step into customs, yeah, this is a pretty good transition for you. Yeah. As X to experience modding and stuff without losing all your ROG aesthetics, RGBs, super fast wireless. Yeah, and if you want to know more about uh, this keyboard, because we did do a basic review. Basic review? Yeah, yeah. about a few months ago, or is it last year? I don't remember. La- it was last year, last year, ago. last year. Yeah, so this keyboard has a lot of features, so watch that video if you want to learn more about this. So, yeah. Thanks. Goodbye. Goodbye.